I'd rather sit aside and let you fall down into holes of depression that you once made me occupy. It'd be so sublime, a price that fits the crime. Get a taste of what you dish, come and get in line. Sorry, but it has to be this way. Just know the streets speak. But I hear Hey, we're here. Believe it or not, you have no idea what we just went through, but it doesn't matter because I heard today somebody um, on, on a talk show that I feel is a role model, Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. This is Ruin Who, and she is definitely Hi. a role model to me. And on Wendy today, there was a guest, or maybe it was another show, actually. I watched like three of them at the same time. Um, and, and some book author was on, and she wrote a book about her grandmothers, and one of the antidotes was never, no one has to know how many times you fixed the hem. Do you know what that means? Yeah, you up or down, up or down. But when it's finished, no one needs to know how much work went into it. You just show it. So here we are Hi. on November 10th. Ruin Who at Bunga's Den. Trixie is back as our Who of the Day. And I just need to tell everybody, it is Brittany Murphy's birthday. So everyone blow a kiss up to heaven to little Brittany Murphy, because she will always be little Brittany Murphy. And um, she's like Tinkerbell. Do you happen to know what sign she was? Do you? No, I actually, no, I thought I'm thinking Libra. Today is her birthday. Today's the day? Yes. Oh my gosh, she's a Scorpio. Yes, hello. And to think, little Brittany, you know, she, my God, what a life. Oh my, what an actress. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. It's also, um, what else? It's Sammy Sosa's birthday. Who's Sammy Sosa? He was a baseball player. You don't know who Sammy Sosa oh, well, is? Oh, you know, but you don't. I just know sorry. his name. I know. Yeah. She, people are looking at me thinking, oh, and, 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 and I know your very dear friend, Alan Merrill. Oh, I love him. It's, it's, it's not his birthday, but it's Mackenzie Phillips' birthday today. Okay. And you know how he, you know, he loves Mackenzie. And, uh, they now, does he just love her or they, love her? They were like an item. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Alan Merrill, he's this musician, great, great artist. His parents are famous. We love Alan Merrill. He wrote I Love Rock and Roll. Put Another Dime in the Jukebox, baby. He's in Japan as we speak. Go on. It's Richard Burton's birthday and um, mm. Winston Churchill's birthday. I interviewed Winston Churchill? No. Re um, Reynolds. Oh, there's Reynolds. Did you say Reynolds? Did I say Reynolds? It's Richard Burton. Not Burt oh, Reynolds. Oh, not Burt Reynolds. <laughs> See, there goes that dumb blonde shit again. I know. Oh, I can't escape it. Anyone watching this is, what, you see our yes. Oh, you're cute, you're cute, you're cute. They legalized it almost in California. I know, but then they took it away. It was like, it, what is that called? Um, Indian givers, so right? So put another dime in the jukebox. Yeah, exactly. No kidding. You know, I think okay. the guy, you know. Move on, move on. No. All right, all Honestly, right. Today was the day that Sesame Street premiered. It's the anniversary of Sesame Street. Mm, that's cool. I know. Whatever. And, uh, it's, it's also the day that Peter Max pled guilty to tax fraud, and he served time for that. Is that the painter? Yes. You know, um, for he Max? Was, he's got a nice place on the Upper West Side, and he just hosted a benefit for a charity that's possibly going to be a benefactor. They want me to do a, an event for them, but they did it at Peter Max's studio. And I mean, so I guess he got out fine. And, He's cool. It's the day the Germans, November 10th, started demolishing the Berlin Wall. Today's when the wall came down, when they started tearing it down. Did you ever see that wall? I never personally saw it, did you? I actually did. I, I was there before the wall came down. Oh, it what was, was, you know, around Checkpoint Charlie, and, you know, it was pretty crazy. Um, now East and West are together, so I think it's probably better for the people that live there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also the day that's our we got to review. The, the New York's Metro MTA announced, this is funny, they announced that it may replace tokens with credit card type passes um, on this day, many moons ago. And look what happened. Now they're making everybody not want to pay at all because they're getting so damn expensive. They want to take Metro cards away from kids going to school. That is insane. If you were a kid in school, and you didn't get a Metro card, would you pay money to go to school? 
I jumped the turnstile, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. Take my chances on a cold night. How in the world do they expect kids to ever graduate if they're taking away their oh, ways? You know, they got to get to school. There's always something. Come yeah, on, MTA. You know, oh, first they did half fares, which was bad enough, but like, no fares? Uh, come on, Bloomberg. <laughs> I, have, I mean, I'm not going to diss him. But she's so Gemini. You know, his daughter, God bless her, I'm glad she's oh, fine. Get she's back on the horse. The she, ponies. You know. Oh, you those know, wealthy people, those terrible people. fine, things. you know. You well, know, you know, you guys gave him a second term. And we'll now they want to take that. Metro cards. They get, give every girl and boy a okay, pony. Okay, what else happened Give on, them all a horse. What else happened, on, what else happened on stage? <laughs> all right, the first Gideon Bible was put in a hotel room in 1908. Oh. Good. On this day, That's a good thing. God bless New God York. God bless the world. Yes, and the federal government shut down on November 10th. Does anybody remember that? Well, the federal government is shut down in Denmark as we speak. Well, there's no government in Denmark. But it's just 1983. The federal government shut down. And I don't remember that. Do you? We were out partying. Who gave a shit in '83? <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. All right, and the little ghosts in the house today are um, Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle passed away, away on this day, November 10th. What's that? That's Norman Mailer passed away on this day. We're going to fix that in a second. And Norman Mailer. And Ken Kesey. You know what he wrote, right? One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Only one of the best publications of all time in history. Great film. So we have an action-packed, crazy show, and we have been having... Such interesting oh, situations. Shit. We're going to fix the feedback and we're going to come right back mm -hmm. on Ruin Who with our first guest, November I, I, 10th. I, I met Jack Nicholson. When? Just not long ago. I was walking down Fifth Avenue. Really? And a car pulled up at the stoplight. And I'm walking across the street. The guy has the window down. Fancy car. Limo, whatever, you know. Very obvious. Did he, did he hit on and you? And he said, he said, hey, do you want to ride? Oh. And I looked at him and I said, you look, I laughed in his face and I said, as I'm walking across the street with my, oh, I want to ride, hello. And I said, you look like Jack Nicholson. And he goes, I am. And I looked and I thought, shit. And he offered to let, give me a ride, but by that time I had such an attitude that I couldn't turn around and go, okay, so, all right. Yes, she it's could. Really you, yes, she I guess could. I'll get it. Oh, man. And we'll be back. You know, here's Johnny. Here's. Here's Trixie. Oh, All right, ruin. Oh.